Hi, I'm Allison Shields, president of Legal Ease Consulting, where I help lawyers create more productive, more profitable, and more enjoyable law practices. We're getting really close to the end of the year right now, and my thoughts start turning to, what am I planning for next year? But believe it or not, a lot of the lawyers that I talk to don't take the time to sit down and set goals and make plans. Sometimes they think it's just too complicated or too time consuming, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. So today I'm gonna to take you through my four step ease method for planning. And that stands for envision, analyze, strategize, and evaluate. So the first step in this is to envision what you want. What do you want your practice to look like? What are your goals for next year? Where do you want to be? And then, so for example, let's take one example for this year. Maybe in 2020, you'd like to get more referrals. Then you move to step two, which is analyze where you are now, because we can't figure out how to get where we want to be unless we have a good idea where we are now. So sticking with our referrals example, you want to know where are my referrals coming from now? Who are my best referral sources? Where do my best clients come from? How many referrals am I getting? How am I tracking my referrals? And then once you know all of that, you can move on to step three, which is to strategize. And that's really the meat of your plan is the strategize piece. And that entails taking those goals and setting up some objectives and benchmarks and plans around them. So if your goal is to increase your referrals next year, one objective might be to improve relationships with existing referral sources. And you could set a plan for that by creating a schedule of when you're going to stay in touch with those referral sources or creating an event to thank your referral sources and so forth. And then you might have more than one objective under each goal. So another objective under that goal for next year might be to get more referral sources for a particular kind of case. And then the last step is to evaluate. And it's really evaluate and revise because a plan is not something that you wanna do once and then put away and not look at again. You really need to go back to it periodically to reassess those goals and objectives to see, am I meeting them? Why or why not? And what might I need to change? Again, my name is Allison Shields, president of Legal Ease Consulting, and I'm wishing you happy holidays and much ease with your planning for the new year. If you want help with your practice, please visit my website at lawyermeltdown.com.